Thank you, Jane. Coming up on tonight's Look East. The election spotlight has fallen on Clacton today as Nigel Farage, the new leader of the Reform Party, officially launched his campaign to become the town's MP. After speaking to hundreds of supporters at the pier, he went to a local pub where he had a drink thrown over him by a young woman. The Conservatives questioned Mr Farage's commitment to the constituency, saying this was all about self-promotion. Let's go to our political correspondent, Ben Schofield, who's in Clacton now. Ben. And there are a total of five candidates standing so far in the Clacton constituency. Let's discuss all this with our political editor, Andrew Sinclair, who's here now. So um, how serious a player are Reform UK in this election? Well, in the opinion polls, they're getting between 10 and 12 percent. Getting in touch because we want to know what you're really thinking in this election. Andrew, thank you very much. Time now for a quick roundup of some other news. BBC East has learned that Stephen Bear, the former winner of Celebrity Big Brother, has repaid the money he earned illegally by sharing a private sex tape. Bear from Essex had shared CCTV footage featuring Love Island star Georgia Harrison. Our investigations reporter Charlotte Rose sent this. Charlotte Rose reporting. Now, it was a big day for chatterists today. Hanging baskets were finally mounted on lampposts again after a health and safety row that's rumbled on for weeks. Cambridgeshire County Council had told chatterists in Bloom the baskets couldn't go up until someone had done a safety course, which one of the residents has now completed. Mosmi Bakshi was up early to witness the big basket moment. And the baskets look beautiful, don't they? Stay with us, there's lots more to come. The two-time Paralympic champion Johnny Peacock from Cambridge has told us he's in good form and hopeful of regaining his title in Paris this summer. Johnny, who's now 31, had his leg amputated when he was a boy after contracting meningitis. He wants to use his celebrity status to help others. But on the track, his sole focus is winning gold, as Tom Williams reports. Wouldn't it be exciting if they did? Let's get a look at the weather with Alex. Thanks, Susie. Hello there. It's not exactly flaming June at the moment. I'm going to take you back to last night to Susie. Alex, disappointing is a good word, I think. Thank you very much. That is all from us for now, but I'll be back with the late news at 10.30. Until then, have a very good evening. I'll see you later. Goodbye.